Welcome to the OSKI Developer Diary number 13. So this week I've been looking at um, moving to another engine or well, render technology really. Uh, I've been looking at this thing called C4. Uh, I've got a hold of the source code to it and just been sort of evaluating the tool sets and those kind of things. Um, so one of the advantages of C4 is that it comes with this nice terrain system. Uh, you can see that there's still some issues with the settings that I haven't quite figured out. You know, basically it's sort of when to switch the, sh the shadows on and those kind of things. So I need to tweak those settings, but it's got a reasonably nice tool set for editing terrain. Here you can see me just adding some blocks of terrain. And this is a sort of voxel system. Uh, it's using triplanar texturing like I showed you in a couple of videos ago. Um, but this time it's using a thing called marching cubes to skin the voxels. So basically you can create arbitrary sort of 3D shapes, which is kind of good for a, a thing with floating islands. And obviously all of these can be physically collided with and those kind of things. So this is kind of the major feature that kind of makes me want to look at the engine. And I've been playing with just sort of getting used to the code and looking at how it's all set up. And that's kind of interesting just to play with. So the other good thing is it comes with this world editor that I should be able to give to the users as well. But anyway, so I just made this new terrain builder, which literally just generates a bunch of blocks for me to, to mess around with. And uh, it takes a short while to build, but what you'll get is that in this uh, scene graph you can see there's a whole bunch of new blocks. And the good thing is that these blocks are all editable still. So um, they've all got level of detail, as you can see as I'm zooming in and out, you can see the level of detail switch. Some of that's a little bit crude and I might have to tweak those properties as well, but you can see that the performance is still reasonably good. And obviously in a, in a real world, you'd probably have this many blocks scattered over quite a while, quite an area, and I'm gonna be generating procedurally a lot of those blocks so this is just a sort of start to make sure I can generate some chunks and the level of detail here doesn't look so good because the terrain is kind of chunky a bit further away but you can see that like there's definitely something usable there and uh, I'm going to keep playing with it and I'll post a few more videos I'm not going to move the code base straight away because I've got some AI code to do for um, one of the AI wisdom books still, so I'm not going to move it straight away. Uh, it's component based, the architecture for Eversky, so it should port reasonably easy to another render engine. I'm really only using C4 for the rendering stuff, uh, for the rendering side. The game code will pretty much stay exactly the same. Um, I should be able to get most of the features implemented relatively quickly. The major part is that the physics engine will need a, a fair bit of work, I think. Um, so I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to switch to this. I've kind of convinced myself by doing this work actually that maybe it's a good idea because having a world editor is kind of useful to just be able to play with things and obviously see you can move things around in the world and create them. And that's quite a powerful thing to have and right now I'm using a bunch of files to know where things are in the world. so. It's very tempting. Anyway, um, that's it for now. Hopefully I'll show you another video with some proper land chunks generated uh, in a few weeks. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Uh, obviously you can contact us by the uh, details in the video. See you later guys.